see sevens a pull through Ooh, and a lock up. Check that out. Oh, this is cool. That's awesome. That's a cool setup. All right. Yeah. Hi friends. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Joining us for another episode of Skyways to Highways. We are in the Blue Ridge Mountains and we're at Peaks Otter, Peaks Otter. Campground. <laughs> it is amazing, absolutely beautiful. The weather yeah. is just gorgeous. Nice, nice little campground. It really is. Yeah. It's uh, very nice, really quiet. Yeah. We're just hanging out here for one night because we're heading for the Overland East Expo tomorrow and morning. We're totally excited Should and be fun. we're going to have a good time, hang out with some of our friends and check out the Overland Expo. And of course, we're going to take you with us. We're just taking uh, this trail, do a little hiking before no, we cook hiking. some dinner. We're mushrooming. We're mushrooming. <laughs> I'm wearing my lucky mushroom shirt. Yeah. Welcome to Flight Skyways to Highways. We're Tasha and Gary. We're a New York based flight crew. Please make yourselves comfortable, sit back, relax, and enjoy traveling. The sauce is really good. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your flight with us today. Feel free to like, subscribe to our channel. Whether you're in the skyways or in the highways, we all would like to take you there. I have found some mushrooms. Yes, she has. I have found some mushrooms. She found all of them. I, I look at it. Is that not exciting? Can you believe it? <laughs> wow. I'm so excited. Look, look at these. You guys, we're gonna be eating for days. <laughs> we're gonna be eating for a while. It's gorgeous. <laughs> They're amazing. All right, let's go eat. Chicken for days. <laughs> hey guys, T's cooking us some dinner because she found all those great mushrooms. I'm just gonna take a short little walk and let you know about uh, Peaks Otter Campground. There's three different loops, A, B, and T. Um, we're in A loop. Most of them are kind of set up for tent camping. The, the hiker fits in here, this spot, very well. And then you've got some pull-ins here, and it's really tight to pull in a big rig. Big rigs are coming in, and I think there's, they say that uh, generators can run till nine. That's awful late as far as I'm concerned. But it's still a nice campground. If you listen, you do get a little bit of road noise, but we are not actually on the park, so it's a road off of the parkway. Blue Ridge Parkway was it's beautiful. It's a great drive. Nice campground, though. Pretty much all the back end sites are exactly like this. So you'll be able to put your hiker in, but uh, staying hooked up, probably not. You probably have to unhook just to uh, be able to get your tow vehicle. Uh, you'll have to park next to your hiker. That's our spot right now for the night. Just one night. Nice and quick before we head to the uh, meet everyone for the expo tomorrow morning. I'm going to get a fire going as, as my next job. And then uh, we're just going to kind of enjoy the evening, get up early, meet everybody for the expo. You can see I've already seared my the mushrooms. And then I'm going to slice them up. And uh, tonight is going to be uh, garlic chicken, sauteed greens, and quinoa. Gary is over there starting a fire. Look at this, you guys. I mean, this is really an amazing, amazing little campground. What time are we getting up in the morning? That's my next thing is to figure out how far we gotta go. Yes, figure that out. Flame on. <laughs> Show everybody your super cool fire starting tool. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Who needs a lighter when you've got a torch? <laughs> I know. It's... All right, I'm gonna continue cooking. We're gonna have some dinner just to make some quinoa real quick. Good, that's ready to go. Yum. Oh. Good morning. We are just uh, leaving this lovely campground. What a beautiful spot. I gotta tell you, I found some amazing mushrooms that we have for dinner, which is delicious, as you saw. We're just packing up and getting ready to head out. We have another, what, hour and a half, you said? Uh, it said 62 miles. 62 miles. Okay. So, I guess if I'm driving, hour and a half. <laughs> we have arrived at the rendezvous spot, and if you look around, it looks like everybody's rendezvousing here. There's all kinds of small trailers here. Got a rover here, got a bunch over here. Uh, we're just gonna wait here for the rest of our uh, our merry band of H tiers. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. And of course, we're taking you with us. <laughs> 
are. Everybody's here and we are heading out. It's time to go. Let's circle the wagons. I'm, do I'm just doing what he tells me to do. I'm with you. <laughs> we, we made it. We're just uh, going to check in, uh, but we're just following Cody and Ross. We have Ben behind us, and Mike is around here somewhere. To figure out how and we're now we park. have to exactly figure out how uh, all seven of us can park in the same spot or the same area here. All right, we're all getting set up here. I didn't get the rugs down. Nope, you did not. Got a nice little. Uh, Compound here. Perfect. All right. One, what, 139, 140? Uh -huh. We're set up. We're done. Not bad. <laughs> the thing about the kits. Our enclave. We got three hikers here. So we're hooked up with the uh, Westphalia group here, which is very cool. We went uh, she's cooking, Cody's over there cooking, we're getting dinner ready. Yeah. Time okay. to make some dinner. And she is making stuffed peppers. Stuffed Ooh. poblanos. Stuff, stuff what? Stuffed poblanos. Ooh. With some yellow rice. Some chorizo. Yellow rice, chorizo. And yeah, and then we're gonna do chorizo tacos. Chorizo and tacos. And then we have, uh, we have some cheese sauce. First night, Thursday. Arrived early this afternoon. Got a good spot right near the expo. And uh, we're heading in for a uh, Thursday night happy hour. guys it has been really really great evening a great day here uh, we got here early we, yeah there was a little meet and greet tonight about five o'clock I cooked some dinner we shared that as a group meal and everyone seemed to enjoy it tomorrow is going to be a day full of just meeting people and just having a good time learning a few things I want to take a couple of classes but yeah tonight we're just going to enjoy some really good conversation with some good friends yeah I'm gonna say good night We'll talk in the morning. Yeah. That's where I mean, it depends on the vehicle, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, and it also depends on if you do a full wrap or if you kind of spot wrap. Right. Yeah. Um, which this thing's like a yellow. It's kind of the same. Good morning from Overland Expo East. It could have been a good morning. Uh, T jumped up this morning, went over and uh, took a class this morning. She's getting her tea together and uh, she's heading for uh, another class at noon. Oh, we at 11. And then we're going to stroll around all afternoon, check everything we can out, and uh, quite a few people pull, rolled in. Yeah, this, this row here wasn't even here when we, when we pulled in yesterday morning, and it filled up quickly. Getting here by noon seemed to be a, uh, a good plan. We got a good spot up front, short walks to all the vendors. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this day started. But again, this is, this is what I think about when I'm road tripping is, cool, I found some mustard packets. So what do you think? I think it was important. I think I learned a lot. Some great, um, great ideas we had. Mm -hmm. It was enjoyable. We are now going to head into the mosh pit of exhibitors. And of course, we're going to visit our favorites. So we're going to go visit uh, Tempo Taz, Ice Co. And we also have to get a few things. We're going to have to buy something today. You know, <laughs> of you, know course we will. you know that's happening. We can't buy everything, though. I want to buy everything. I want to buy yeah, some you, of the things. You, you want to buy everything. <laughs> All right. I already know how you're thinking. Yeah, well. We can have that, that, that. <laughs> well, yeah. What's the problem? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that table is interesting. Oh. Okay. Look at that knife. I'm eyeballing your folding chef knife. That's fantastic. I love this. Oh, here. That's nice. May I? Yes, yeah. So they're liner locks. So you can just... Okay, 
That's fantastic. These are 100 each. Could you show me yeah, sure. how it works? Uh, like so it's a nice locking mechanism. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. So the handle's walnut. Yeah. And the steel is Damascus. Mm -hmm. And it's a stainless. You make this yourself? Uh, we don't. Friends of ours do this one. Ah. Clients tools is us, but Ed Camp is uh -huh. another mm. oh, nice. soul colleague. Wonderful. He does a lot of backpacking type stuff, so small camp stuff. Uh -huh. so. He so in the two styles, this is the Santuco blade or regular more of a chef blade. Very, very nice. This is interesting too. Yeah, Look so at this multi-tool. Uh, <laughs> like this. Mm -hmm. And then when you open it. Oh wow. You got the fork and spatula. Yeah, it's cute. Come together and make tongs. But, uh, wow, that's fantastic. It has a knife as well. She cooks too much. Bottle opener and corkscrew. Here's your card back. Would you like a receipt? I that is a, that's extremely innovative. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, that's so it's all fantastic. stainless steel. Uh, stainless steel, not aluminum. Wonderful. Wonderful. And then when you've got it all packed up, you actually YO. YO? Got a little case. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. And what is the price point on that? Uh, forty nine ninety nine. So mm -hmm. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. Wow. Fantastic. Well, I can tell you. Do you have Do you have several of these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be back. Thank you so much. Just, just found my first purchase. <laughs> I think so too. Yeah, Don't try right. and talk me out of it. No, no. That's <laughs> that's something we've been looking for, and yes. we need that could. We need to condense our knife situation. We we're carrying mm -hmm. too many with us. Really. We have way too many knives. Yeah, way too many. Yeah. So that will that will solve a big problem for us. That's something I would normally not not say is is the words way too many knives because I, I love uh -huh. knives. Yeah. <laughs> but you know for for you know what we do, yeah, we have to pare that down, and and that knife is is beautiful. All right, let's see what else there is. Right. Decked out in all my hiker gear, let's go find the hiker boots. All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, look at these pretty doggies. Very beautiful. Very cool. Got a little hiker hat on. Is it going? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How are you? This is Tosh. She lives down in Portsmouth. Oh. She's the one that made the road dust, which I got. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Uh, what brand did you get? Look at this beautiful Jeep. It's got all the bells and whistles. Here we are at Tembo Task. Of course, we had to come and see these guys. How you doing? How's it going? It's going. Good. I loved your pizza video, by the way. Ah, oh, thank you. You've seen really my videos? Good. You've seen our videos? It's super good. It's awesome. I've seen your videos. Fantastic. Right, thank, cool. you. thank you. <laughs> they did a really cool pizza video on the stuff. Uh, okay. No, yeah. <laughs> hey, you ate some too. Well, I, yeah, you I did. Was, I'm good yeah, at that. Did. <laughs> Back in the day, when we were originally purchasing these, right. mm -hmm. um, the manufacturer we would get them from was using the wrong sized washer. So there's a washer in oh, yeah. here. Okay. And what happens is that it doesn't seat correctly. And then because this has the threads in the exact same direction that you turn it on, mm -hmm. it can just unthread itself. Oh, They're not okay. counter threaded. Oh, okay. So there's a number of issues. Some of the things we can fix and some we can't. Mm -hmm. We can't fix the threading on this. Uh, that's just how they manufacture them. Then what we can fix is the washer and the ro little rubber o-ring that goes in here. So what we've done, well, what we had been doing is we had been lathing our own washers. But now uh, we have switched manufacturers mm -hmm. and they are actually now making them correctly Fantastic. with the right size washer okay. and the right size O-ring. So you shouldn't be running into this problem anymore. Oh, excellent. Because it, it's Thank happened you. to me. I know it's happening to you guys. It is a little exciting. So, uh, but you shouldn't have any issues. If you run into this issue, send us an email, info at tembotest.com. We're more than happy to send you guys out a new one. We have a fix. Problem solved. Excited. I'm back in business. Oh, darn it. I need to buy. Come on. I need to buy this. How fun is this? How fun is this? Oh, look at that. Oh, what is that? Oh, good. Wow. Look out. <laughs> hey. Okay, this is fun. We're buying this. We're buying this. <laughs> it, would be, it would be fun. We just launched about eight months ago. And this is our heating source right here, this stone. Oh. Right here. Look at this. You can throw it in a fire or you can put it on your stove top. But if you throw it in the fire, we have this thermometer. So after it's been in the fire for about 20 minutes, 
Then you take this, put this on, make sure it gets to 600 degrees. So give it about 10 minutes after it's been on. Then you just put that in, put the food on top, and it will cook three to five hours like your crock pot. You are kidding. No, but it will keep things warm eight to 12 hours. But we're not the Jersey. Okay, so that's interesting. I'm going to show you what I did this morning. So I put the stone. I put the stone that's in this one. I put that stone on the stove top. Because mm -hmm. if you don't do it in the fire, you can just you just put this on. Right. Put the food on top on in the pan. Ooh. So that three pound roast, four pounds of potatoes, carrots, onions, and everything are in there for that 30 minutes. Have it on high, 30 minutes. And it's later, so I did it from 6 to 6.30. At 6.30, I put that in there, put the pot on with the food, and this was at 6 o'clock this morning, so now we're at, are we at 1 now? Okay, so, 7 hours? Okay, check this out. Seven hours later. Oh, this, is, this is a this wonderful. Is, now, this never gets hot. This is still cooking. Okay, that was going to be a question. Yeah, feel, feel this. This never ever gets hot. Feel wow. this. Feel that. It's been opened all day. And then look at the steam what? coming out. That was seven hours ago. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? Oh, this is awesome. Isn't it cool? No electricity needed. No electricity, no gas, propane. You, you can just have, do have the, the hot little pots to have the and look, everything. And look. Grab that's, now that's got well that's got 10 pounds of food yeah. and 12 pounds of rock pot but that's not bad and you don't have to worry about this ever getting hot right. you know how you're crock pot and do you want to see the best part oh wow this is all stainless steel dishwasher safe everything can go in the dishwasher so nothing aluminum no all Perfect. stainless steel Perfect. and look at the bottom of this <laughs> So you can use this induction. Regular, oh. regular rock pot. So what you see, right? Like this, mm -hmm. and this, and their thermometer, and this is 199. If you get the full oh. kit, you get these pans and this cool bag. Okay. So these pans you can do like multiple. So you can do fajitas on the bottom, tortillas on top, or you so can do. So it's like a bento box. Yeah. yeah. Sort of thing. Yes. yes. I love that idea. And what's nice is you can use it every day. Yeah. Like when you go somewhere, you can leave your food cooking at home yeah. and you don't have to worry about it. It's That's incredible. Huh? That fun, huh? This is a wonderful yeah. product, you guys. Thank you, Thank you yeah. so much for that. We, we did a version of it when we were in our 20s. Uh -huh. It was a, like a red cooler mm -hmm. with foam insulation, aluminum pans. Oh dear. And, but you know what's so funny? Mm -hmm. We've done eight shows in Utah out of eight shows. We've had seven shows of one, two, or three people still have it oh, from 38, 39 years ago. Oh, wow. Still have the rock pot from 38, That must make you feel really good knowing that someone is still loving and using your product that many years later. That means you created something that is that is wonderful. Thank wonderful to meet you. Great. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I'm Tosh. Tosh and Stacy. Nice, nice to meet you. You're adorable. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks. Coming into 230. My favorite owning people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are nice bags. That's actually really nice. Uh, these are good bags. The size of this is nice, babe. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> this, this would fit better on our door. Oh, it sure would. <laughs> so yeah, so the slice here is just for, mm -hmm. a, for a mug. Could or get, you get a little bit more compact. Find a new knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are we getting? Getting this one. Which one? I love this one. I'll go the chef knife. Well, sorry, but I think the chef knife would be more okay. practical. All right. Even okay. though I love this one. Okay. Oh, I should just get the W. You can get it. W O L. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful, right? All right, that's, a, that's the one you're getting? Yes. K O N. Okay. Yes. Cool. K Y. Excellent. Got ourselves some tacos. Looking pretty good. Oh, <laughs> 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 
sit down. Yeah. 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 Sit down. Yeah. 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 Magic. Magic. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, welcome to the compound. <laughs> Channeling my Matt DeWitt with the uh, with my lights. Cody's here, Ben's here. Oh, we got three hikers and three Westphalias or four? Four. Four Westphalias over here hanging with us. And <laughs> say hi, team. <laughs> so this is our compound. The hiker showroom floor. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> It was kind of a late night last night, for me anyway. For Gary, it was <laughs> so a late I, night. I stayed up until it started draining. <laughs> yeah, we got some rain last night. Everything is Damn. nice and clean this morning. It is. Yeah, fresh rain and sunshine now so for the rest of the day, which is great. We're going to head over to the geyser shower. We're going to see how long the line is. Yeah, so we're going to go check it out. We'll uh, show you guys around a little bit later after we've had some breakfast and some coffee. Yeah, and, and we've reached that. the geyser. This person gets a sponge. And then you've got, uh, how much water was it? Three liters it's of said, water. Said is, yeah, like that a they, half a gallon of water. That they heat up. And then they've got these cute little stalls Ooh. here. Well, hopefully the line's now, oh dear. Okay, there's the line. <laughs> the line is a little long. Okay, it's a little so, long. yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Decision's been made. <laughs> we we're gonna try it out, but uh, I think we're gonna go hook up our shower yeah. and take a shower at the Never mind. At camp. Yes. <laughs> okay, this is our first attempt at using the new hot tap shower. Gary has to remember how to do it. <laughs> Ooh, look at that fancy shower head. Shower head. What video when they go, what feature would you rather or she would Oh, it's a hot water, yeah. <laughs> yes. A shower! <laughs> you not have to get a shower and I want a shower. He bait the switch to me. When he sold this hiker idea, he said, uh, and you'll have a hot I, shower. I, I've heard I was so excited. I'm like, okay, I'm in. That sounds great. And then he cheaped out and he got me this stupid bucket. I'm like, what am I going to do with this bucket? It was a shower bucket. It was awful. <laughs> All right, so what happened to the prospect of my shower this morning? I think the batteries are dead. <laughs> That's all right. The batteries are dead? I think so. Once again, I don't get my shower. I'm just saying. There are batteries in there. Yeah. So I didn't get a shower this morning. I got mine. <laughs> After we figured it out. And we're late for the knot tying class yes, that we're going to take with today. Aaron. With Aaron. With Aaron. So. We're going to learn some knots. Yep. We're going to learn them with us. <laughs> okay. So we just found the knot class. All right. So we're going to cross over our rope. Again, this one right here is not doing anything. I'm gonna make two wraps around this side and one wrap around this side. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here, wrap one, wrap two, I'm gonna cross over. See, I'm crossing over there. And I'm gonna come back under that one, go back inside that cross. Not very well. <laughs> totally lost that. I was totally lost on that. So, this one is the one on the side. Here. You see this cross right. I'm, I'm lost. A little, little advanced because we can, and it's my class. Um, <laughs> we're gonna make a really awesome ridge line for a tarp. We're gonna make a really awesome tie down for something you have on your rig called the trucker's hitch. So I'm gonna tie my bowling. You all right? Right? You don't need to see that. We already did that. Everyone's an expert. We got that. We got that down. Or we have this going over the roof rack, just like we did the bowling on one side, right? Our trucker's hitch, I'm going to show you what it is first. We make a loop, we bring out our line on the other side, and now we have a three to one mechanical advantage. Ratchet strap, same kind of deal, right? We can tighten this as much as we want, chip, and tie it off. Now, this is a great clothes line, because wet clothes are heavy. But this will make it super taut line every oh. time. Class was good. Do you yeah. feel like you learned a lot? Uh, I mean, I, I used to know a lot of these knots and I've just forgotten how to do them because I just quit tying them. You know? Especially with all the climbing knots. I remember had none of those. Well, time to relearn, I know, sir. that's what I'm thinking. We got a good uh, refresher course. What do you think? This thing's a zombie apocalypse vehicle. It's a monster. That's a beast. We're getting one of those next? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, hiker. Exactly. But <laughs> I want that. Hey, we uh, just took a walk around the uh, the expo, found another hiker. 
So, uh, can you introduce yourself for us? Yeah, I'm uh, Rick Husk. I'm out of uh, Chesapeake, Virginia. So, here at Overland Expo. All right, cool. He's going to give us a little walk around on his uh, extreme off road. Five by nine. What have I, what have I done? Yeah, um, you're, it looks like it's like if you're a single traveler. Yeah, I, I, I travel by myself. I've got two mattresses that will fit side by side if I okay. need to go full width. Table, chair fit nicely in there with the mattress. So simple, um, simple setup. Probably my favorite modification is my curtain rod. Oh wow. Oh. Which is just yeah. uh, just with magnet magnets, clips and magnet clips and a, they like yeah and a dowel rod. And and a where dowel did rod. you find these clips? The oh. clips were on Amazon, and then I just uh, have fender washers screwed into the wall. That's All right. fantastic. Cool. That's a great idea. How long have you owned your trailer? I picked my trailer up in February of '23. So, so oh, just, uh, you're still pretty new. Still pretty new. Yeah, yeah. got a lot of nights in it. Uh, most, you know, probably half of them are in my backyard. But yeah, great little trailer. Love, love it. Mm -hmm. Goes everywhere I go. Uh, we have a uh, off-road on the back trails coming out here in Chanted Creek we drug it through mm -hmm. oh great um, cool so love the lock and roll hitch oh, oh so yeah. do we so do we yeah we, uh, yeah we're so happy with that so the whole trailer runs off the jackery yeah yeah, yeah okay See it back here. You did your own wiring for the jackery? So, so, did you so, have them so wire? They did the fuse box and the 12 volt. Okay. And I just, and so, so the whole trailer just runs off that one 12 volt plug. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's hooked yeah. up to just a portable solar panel yeah. right now that I can charge it off the, when I plug in the 7 pin, it charges, uh, charges oh, okay. off the Jeep yep. or oh, charge it when I get nice. home. Mm -hmm. I said 24 inch galley. Did yeah. you make your boxes? I did make the boxes. I just I wanted something that fit the space right. completely. It's it's um, functional. I won't say they're pretty. I'm not a carpenter. <laughs> no, uh, you got nice. But I just wanted functional. You got to meet Jeff. <laughs> I added the drawer. Fantastic. A lot of people have a, um, I think like you yeah, have we, a have an extra shelf. But, we have um, the shelf. The pull out. Uh, I, I want it organized. Yeah. We do use it and we don't. I mean, I use it in a pinch. Like you know, if we're when not going traveling. to be yeah in a site for very long right. you know and i don't want to set up my big table yeah. yeah um i'll use that and then the side table here yeah nice little setup no nice. there was no water in this system so there's no water tank i end up with with a 24 inch deep galley the uh three of the Dometic ah, jugs so fit. So tell us a little bit about those. Fit perfect. They're they, like, do they filter the water too or no? No, no filter. Mm -hmm. um, How much so water do they hold? Three, a little over three and a half gallons each, I think. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So I carry 10 gallons with me. Mm -hmm. um, so don't have to pull them out. I just, just plug it in and they fit, they That's fit convenient. perfect. This is all stock height. And then you have the slide out for, what are these boxes called? Zar Zarges. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they're pronounced, but they're, um, they're bare. These are these are uh, ICGB grizzly proof boxes. Okay. Um, they're pretty good. I keep one. This one's just where I keep my my uh, pots, pans, and such. Mm -hmm. right. And then on the the thing I absolutely love with these boxes on the extreme off road, the fender fits perfect for putting my right, uh, yeah. um, putting just putting my box out. So this is the, this one I keep all my my. Food, dry goods. Food, mm -hmm. yeah. So you don't have to worry about bear storage and bear proof storage, yeah, yeah. which is nice. So you just picked up the uh, the my rock new pot. favorite product here I at know. the at the event. I... This rock pot. We went and talked to them yesterday. Yeah, this is pretty. It's pretty, pretty awesome. amazing. It's my favorite product yeah. of, yeah. The, of yeah. the expo. Saw it, and I'm I'm often. I cook a lot with a Dutch oven, and sometimes and this yeah. is just the. Uh, a nice, a nice alternative. Hey, we we appreciate the walkthrough. Hey, thank my pleasure. So I'm glad it's you came to by. Meet you. Yeah, it's yes. been great. Thanks. Thanks. By their road dust. Uh, uh, thank thank you. you. You said you had it for breakfast this morning. I yeah. did, had it. Had it on my. Put it on my uh, uh -huh. my, my pizza thing. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And you enjoyed it. And, yeah, thank delicious. Thank you so much. That's fantastic. Awesome. I'm glad to hear great. that. Cool. All right. All right. Thanks again. And then, uh, if you want a little, <laughs> that's that's what this is okay. for. It's like a giant, and he's ready to go, just like okay. that. It's pretty roomy in there, right? Yeah, it's not bad. That's a good look on you, babe. And you can ah. move it around. That's not bad. And then, uh, so, yeah, it's kind of surprising, right? It <laughs> is. And then uh, inside you have uh, a pocket for your toilet paper and hand sanitizer. And then we have, like, two happy beer lovers here. Try it out. Okay. Hey, uh, we're here with 
Michael Davis. Michael Davis. Hard right? Impact Design. Okay, so there you go. Yeah. Uh, we were lucky enough to catch his uh, marketing class the other day about small business marketing. So, um, what's your product you're selling here today? Thanks, Gary. I'm super happy to be here with Skyways to Highway. So, what I have designed is a quick release rooftop tent mount, but it's got a multiple use function. So, you can use it for your tent, but I also use it to mount recovery boards cargo boxes, awnings, any number of things that you want to mount to your, your roof rack and then you move easily. Start with this, just the brackets by themselves. It's a simple lock ball key system that works. So the lock ball pin comes out and your upper bracket comes right off. This lower bracket stays bolted to your uh, roof rack crossbars. And then this upper bracket really can be bolted to anything. What I'm using it for, again, is the tent rail so it bolts along the tent rail and then when I'm ready to take off on my trip, I just drop my pin or tent on, push my pin through and I'm finished and ready to go. It works with Prinsu, Pro Speed, Victory, Sherpa racks, in addition to any other sort of 80-20 extrusion bar, crossbar racks. There's now a lower that will work with single channel racks such as front runner and it works really with any tent. A lot of the tent bars are standard and so it works with any tent. I've got an M8 nut for people who do not use the adapter. We have a narrow rail. You can use an M8 nut to attach to my M8 bolt that attaches the upper bracket, so you still have uh, multiple uses for it. So. Nice product. Thank you. I've been very happy with it. Yeah. There was a point I did not want to use my rooftop tent. Now it takes me one minute, 30 seconds. I know because we have to make a video to install the tent. That's fantastic. Yes. I do. Hardimpactdesigns.com. Hard Impact Designs on Instagram. I'm Hard Impact Designs. Okay, excellent. Thank well, hey, so thanks for talking to us. Thanks. I appreciate y'all giving me the time. All right. Have a good night. Hey, I definitely will. You guys have a good night too. Yeah. Well, it's empty. <laughs> well, it won't be long, I'm sure. So. We have dueling scottles going dueling on here. Dueling scottles. <laughs> All right, and in this corner. Exactly. <laughs> what do we got underneath that? Underneath this, we have some. Half pounds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ooh. Ooh. Here we Ooh. have some stuffed poblanos with chorizo. We have some refried pinto beans and some chicken of the woods garlic chicken awesome yeah. awesome yeah. so what do we have going on over here all right we're going to be making a little asian dish i guess you could say um it's going to be chicken with peppers and onions and i'm going to put some buffalo wild wings asian zing sauce on it with some uh coconut rice and some pineapple as Ooh. well so, Ooh. yeah, a little Ooh. mix in some flavors. Nice. Yeah, that sounds good too. Yeah, good. a little easy meal. And this was Ben's meal. A chicken breast. A solo chicken breast. <laughs> Secret recipe, 600 <laughs> degrees for about eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Tasted fantastic. Yeah. What happened to all the vegetables? They just didn't show up? Oh, I forgot to bring those. <laughs> mm, this is what we got. Ooh, looks delicious. Yeah. Okay. It's messy. I mean, last minute -y, trying to be quick about it. Yeah, that's going to be good. I hope so. <laughs> Tons of good flavors. Good. That's really good. Awesome. Look at that mushroom. That's a nice chicken mushroom. Yeah, that dinner turn out? Great. Pretty, pretty good. It, it looks good. On our Smells. fine china. <laughs> <laughs> hey, enjoy. is about to start. Three, four, zero, three, zero, one, zero. Thank you very much.
Yeah, you guys are cheating. Yeah, you're cheating over here. Unreal. Don't sit in that. This guy cleaned up. Oh, winner! The winner. It's hot outside. I don't know everyone's bundled up. I need the mid player. So Ross here, Ross here won this lovely coat here. This fabulous fireproof coat, by the way. <laughs> It and and the chair he's untouched. sitting in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else won anything. <laughs> it's a, it's a six hundred dollar so coat. Yes. Six hundred dollars. Oh, and if Aaron, if about Aaron do, yeah. that's, dude, that's rigged. Yeah. <laughs> that's a hundred percent insider trading. Yeah, insider trading. <laughs> Cody, Cody builds their website. <laughs> and then when Ross went up there, he was like slipping money. At the, at the oh, good morning. Uh, last day at the you. camp. Say good morning, T. Good morning. <laughs> everybody's, uh, everybody's packing up, taking off. We thought about staying the day, but I think we're going to pack up and uh, head out and get a few hours of drive time in. We've got about a 12-hour drive to get home. Ross and Cody heading back for Indiana, and Ben's heading back for Minnesota. So he's got you know, maybe an 18-hour drive. Yeah, we've had a great time hanging out with the Westfalia crew here, too, that... We met up with a nice, good group of people. Over here having breakfast. Yeah, I'll walk you around. Everybody's getting ready to go. And most everybody's packing up to go. Got the Jeeps here, all lined up. We're going to pack up here shortly. Okay, that's it. We're uh, packing up to head out. Heading out. All right. It's been an awesome weekend. Yeah, it has. It's been a great weekend. Already planning next year's. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. These guys are awesome. Right. Friends for life. Yep. yep. Most right. definitely, yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, definitely. <laughs> exactly. All right. That's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ben's pulling out. Yeah, there's three of us. Making some breakfast chilaquiles this morning. last breakfast it's Sunday I we can't leave Sunday without making a little brunch so we've got some breakfast chilaquiles to send us off this morning yeah, I hope everybody likes it do you want some chilaquiles see si. mm. love it it's like a walk it yeah. is it's fantastic it is good <laughs> it's really good it looks really awesome yeah it's a little bit of everything oh god what do you think that's, <laughs> that's all vegan even the cheese I am after there. one more uh, safe out there. Thank you. item, and it's this tire table. It is something we definitely need. It'll be very helpful. I finally found it. Hey there. I've been looking everywhere for you. <laughs> I've been looking everywhere. Incredibly light. Yeah. This this looks like my table. Perfect. So it's 150. Yep. Mhm. Mm this is your your width. And your wheel support. Okay. So you snug that up on the tire, jam up the jam bolt, and you've got a table. You don't have to use the leg. Mm -hmm. the oh, leg. you don't have to. Like, I call it the kickstand, but you don't have to use it at all? You don't have to, but it makes it solid. Very okay. solid. Okay. And then on 35, you might want to flip this upside down. Mm -hmm. And that will give you a bigger bite on the back of the tire. I see. Okay. Sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. All right, gotcha. Depends on the tires. Gotcha. Perfect. All right, guys. Bye. Bye, Bye Debo. <laughs> Drive-by. Yeah. We better get up in there. <laughs> well, guys, it has been an amazing weekend here at the Overland Expo. I gotta tell you, we made some really great friends, lifelong friends, actually. Great conversation and just had a blast here. So uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more content like this. Yeah, we're definitely coming back next year. And hey, uh, we'd love for you to join us. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. Safe travels, friends. Whether we're in the skyways or on the highways.
just know we're gonna take you with us. <laughs> you guys leaving? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So we use your spice blend mm -hmm. in a shrimp vegetable ramen stir fry. That sounds delicious. And it was phenomenal. We loved it, oh, awesome. and we could tell how good it was. Oh my God, that's it was, awesome. It was great. We were I'm very so happy to hear that. So you will be hearing from us. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, guys. Yeah, Thank you so great. much. I Thank appreciate you. it. I'm so glad. I, I love hearing positive feedback or any feedback. I, I love that just people are enjoying it. Sprinkled okay. it on. Yes. It came out phenomenal. Fantastic. Yeah. I, I'm so happy to hear so, that. Yeah, wonderful. So, Thank you. It was wonderful meeting you both. Yeah, you too. Safe travels. Yeah, you too. All right, All right we'll, we'll see you next then. year. Bye. <laughs> Rojas seems to have been a hit, mm. so I'm pretty excited. What more can you want? Mm. Let's go.